All right, so we're looking at uh, brownies now to help us with fractions. And if we zoom in here, um, we'll see this fourth grade class is having a brownie dessert party. And there were small pans of brownies, and there were also um, large pans of brownies. The small pans were nine pieces, and the large pans were 16 pieces. So we're starting with Tori and she's getting this from the small pan. So squares are gonna work best for this. For, um, we have nine pieces, right? So nine so squares will work best. Uh, rectangles could work too. But basically the way to, to do ninths is you do thirds that way and then do thirds this way and then you have ninths. And uh, Tori, had two brownies, so what is her uh, fraction going to be? Well, there's nine pieces. How many did she have? Then Holly um, had one more than Tori did, so she had one more. So if that's what Tori had, then uh, Holly had one more. So then you can do your fraction of the ninths. That should be easy. But what is an equivalent fraction to describe what Holly ate? Well, if I cut up this tray this way into three pieces, you can see that she ate a piece out of three. And how many pieces out of three did she have? Okay, now let's move on to Henry. And they're eating from the large pan. So the large pan is 16 pieces. So to do 16, again, squares work really nicely. Do fourths. So I'm doing half and then cutting those in half to get force and then do the same thing in the other direction. If you cut force into force, then you have 16 pieces. So uh, his table, they had five students and each student ate two brownies. So if each color is a student, then um, they each had two brownies. That's how much they ate. But the key here is asking you is um, write an equation that shows what fraction that they ate. And it might be easiest to even uh, come up with the answer first. So um, two, four, six, eight. They ate 10 out of 16 pieces. So that would be um, what they ate. Okay, and now to do an equation, they each ate two sixteenths, right? So you could do an addition problem and keep that going about how much they ate. Or let me do a different one over here. You could do a multiplication problem. How many boys were there? And they each ate that much. And that's what you would get. So that's what it means by an equation. Okay, and then down here, uh, we've got April and Christina. And again, they're eating from the large pan. And Christina had four. So Christina had that much and April uh, had one. So April ate that much. So for Christina, her two, um, her two fractions, well, one of them, just count the number of green spots and then out of 16, will be one of them. For the other one, uh, for Christina, you need to look at cutting it that way. And then if you cut it that way, how many pieces were there? And how many pieces did Christina eat? And then if you do the girls together, it's just uh, you know this many pieces um, out of 16. And let's go have a look here. And what do we have here? All right, we're dealing with the large pan again. And Freddie had two of them. So his friend said he ate one eighth of the brownies in that pan. Do you agree or disagree? And it might be useful here to try to cut this into eight pieces. Um, that's not gonna work. Uh, and see if that's true. Is it true? Do you agree or disagree? And then down here, we have similar to what we had 
before with the egg cartons. So here we have um, one half is nine eggs. So what does the carton look like? <clears throat> well, there are nine right there. And that's just one half. So what does the other half look like that would be empty? And then you know how many cartons are in the egg. Over here, we have three eighths is 18 eggs. And I need to sort out, if I were doing this, I would sort out each row. I'm going to do eight rows, okay? Three eighths. This row is going to be full. These three rows are going to be full of eggs. And the rest of the rows are going to be empty, right? So there's four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's my eight rows. This three eighths is equal to 18. So these three rows will have to be 18. So again, just like we did before, you need to think three times what equals 18? And that's going to be how many X's are in each of these rows. And then these rows will be empty, um, but that will show you the size of the carton. So you can draw the carton and then maybe for each of these, show how much the carton holds, how many eggs the carton would hold after you've drawn it. And that is it uh, for more fraction practice. And thank you and goodbye.